Let's continue, Jerry. From Nigeria, <laughs> Shout out from to our you, parents Shout and out our grandparents, we have problems. And if we don't face those problems and actually try to renew our minds, we will continue to paint, you know, like a, a whitewash. Mm -hmm. Let me let me say something. Um, <clears throat> the true color is coming out. Nigerians have problems. No anywhere else in the world has problems. Stay in context. Nigeria does have problems. But let's stay in context. He's talking particularly about this issue we're talking about. We have problems. And he would like to shed some light on it. He's going to share with us. Trust me. Just have to wait long enough. He will tell us what his problems are. Not really Nigerian problems. Just his own problems with Nigerians. Right? His own self-identity. Let's continue. Smooth paradox. I live in an estate in Lekki. There is a, a guy in my clothes. We live in an estate. My, my house is not fenced. I'm sure you've seen one or two videos of Tazebots walking and me following her. Yeah. My, estate. my estate is fenced, but my house is not fenced. Do you know I have a neighbor that I, I only greeted once and I've lived here for seven years? Mm. What happened that day? I have a convertible. And because convertibles have soft tops, if mm -hmm. you park them under the shade, they tend to get moldy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So every week, like a religion, Thank you, Holy Mary. I have to drive my convertible to a sunny spot. <laughs> and, and listen, Holy Mary, listen. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say it. You said it. That's what I saw first, <laughs> but let's continue, <laughs> okay? Convertible so that the, um, the interior can dry up so that there will be no mold. Yeah. So that particular day where I usually park my car in the sun, some people had parked there, so I couldn't use that spot. So I parked in front of this, my neighbor's house. Hmm. Two hours later, when I felt that the car had collected enough sun, I went outside and I saw the guy had blocked me with his car. <laughs> I locked the door. I'm so sorry. I packed him. This was the only place I could get sun. Don't be angry. I I don't know where that, where that the guy lives. I just know that once in a while he comes, once in a while he goes. The guy greeted her, came out, removed his car, removed my car, went to park. From that day till today, we have not spoken. Before that day, we have not spoken. So this whole idea of I don't talk to my neighbor. If you live in metropolitan Lagos, you yeah. will experience. The because it's westernized talking about abroad and in my honest opinion it is a good thing and a bad thing thank you and i'll tell you why thank you it's a bad thing because likewise i have two very close neighbors hey cool mama good to see you. about political parties we just we have fun we help each other. If I need something, I go to their house. If they need something, they feel free to come to my house. Do you understand? If I'm eating something, something like there was a time we all came together and killed a ram to celebrate election being over, even though we all disagreed on the <laughs> outcome of the election. But we sat down and we killed a ram together. So yes, there's that community bonding. Hmm. But you see, there's also the advantage of parents and in-laws and uh, you guys are making fun of this guy's bleaching cream stop the cap nigerian women allow me to generalize for a second stop the cap stop the cap <laughs> he's bleaching because of una una no like i'm like that una like yellow purple now i'll be i'll be a lie stop the cap <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how you like it? Fine boy, yellow papa. He's such a fine man. You know. Abi is just him thinking that way. <laughs> Feelings. Not just being able to barge into your house the way they do it in Nigeria. In Nigeria, I, I grew up with somebody. You, you hear a knock on the door, I open, I see one of your uncles, and he's going to stay for four months. And I didn't like it. There was, there's too much invasion. I know a friend who was in her thirties, and her mother would just come and knock their door. Wait, 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 wait. 
<coughs> Daddy Free's talking too much. Um, we need to get to the point where they are all talking. Um, yeah, thank you so much, bro. Uh, no, I appreciate you. I like my chocolate men. I beg. Most Nigerian women. Generalization. Most Nigerian women love light purple. <laughs> am I lying? Is that is that? Am I making that up? Right. I know there are women that love chocolate, but most Nigeria, maybe of a certain age, 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 age bracket, yeah. But I think there was okay. Maybe it's just like most black people. There was a there was a time that the yellow purple were the one reigning. You know, I think some people are just stuck. In, some men are stuck into in that past, and uh, cream is nobody's mate, yeah cream at the african store they don't go to african store except to only go and buy a cream there's only time they go to african stores to go and buy cream <laughs> that's the only time they patronize nigerian women the cream online cream they are shipping it these days too wahala even says not chocolate <laughs> really are you all gen z's or something what's going on here most Nigerian women I know actually prefer dark men. What? What? So we're making this up in our head? Nigerian men don't collect. <laughs> I think it's the weirdest things when I, whenever I see, once in a while when I see men ugh, using bleaching cream, I'm like, Jesus Christ. What happened? <laughs> see, that's my experience talking, RB. Yeah, exactly. Just like me now. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to catch the full contest of this convo on the replay. I'm confused about what's happening. Oh, you will. You will. We're just talking. They were general. Let me bring us up to speed a little bit. They were generalizing all of Nigerians' communities abroad. And basically, they are blaming the blaming the marriages that are breaking apart on Nigerian community will come into your household and destroy it for you. That was the context we started this conversation from. And they're a little bit all over the place now. So that's what it is you know but let me go back a little bit because i think he's about to wrap up his yanni shout out to daddy freeze for the content fair use fair use fair use um i'm probably okay i love cho you too cool mama you love chocolate oh no most like chocolate men really well, you're all gen z's that's why i think the general okay you're not gen z's or millennials love chocolate I think the Gen X and before that, I think they love their yellow purple. Uh, is that accurate? Right? No, mostly like talk, tall, dark, and handsome. But Adiwali, you are like Gen Y or something. Come on, man. Come on. You're, you're the people you know are like Gen Generation Y. Okay, Generation Alpha are not. They're not big enough. Let's see here. Um, I have the best neighbor ever. This man is white. He has saved me a lot of money. His garage is like Home Depot. Mm, see? Community, a sense of community is what we're talking about here at the end of the day. At the end of my eye, at the end of my why where we're eh. Which one? Which one is disgusting? I missed something. No, Ola, you are not making it up. We see it. Uh -huh. I thought I, you know, I know I know what I was talking about. It's the man that likes bleaching women. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> another angle no 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 that's another angle i don't i don't i don't think so no 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 let's keep going here oh. what carol white cannot do does not exist what carol white cannot do does not exist is that the name of a cream <laughs> oh yeah i'm making that up from your experience abby <laughs> let's see chocolate no i still do on this chocolate issue I think men are the ones on that table. The one that like yellow purple. Hey. Okay. No wonder one can easily identify them when they pay visit here. You see them walking like others are the Ishawuru. Hmm. <clears throat> Wait. What did we August visit? Oh yeah, they what's going on? Oh yeah, they how are you? Good to see you. She said that is not true. Women prefer dark men worldwide. You're projecting. Oh, I am projecting. See, 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 I'm collecting like straight bullets. Look at this. Yes, you're making it up. Chocolata for life. Mm, okay. 
All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think they're about to start talking again. That is why we have tall, dark, and handsome. But oh yeah, they let me guess. Your generation, what? Why? Millennia? Are you a millennia? You're a millennia, right? Exactly. You're a millennia or Gen Z. So no, you're not on this table. <laughs> Oh god, wait, and to be this I chat too, and to be how far are you day? I know you're in the middle of work probably. We're here, oh yes, we prefer dark skin men though. Any man bleaching has low self-esteem and Yeah! Small D Bleaching men don't call it like this. I didn't mean to, gentlemen, I'm sorry. Uh but yeah, I do think you're weird if you're bleaching as a man. I do think I personally think you're weird, but you know, weirdness is not a crime. You know. Timmy probably bleaches. Timmy. Timmy that was talking earlier is probably a bleacher. <laughs> right? Timmy, are you a bleacher? I bet Timmy is a bleacher. Show us your picture. Put your picture on your DP. I dare you. You're, you bleach, Timmy. Stop the cap. Anyway, <laughs> Tochuku said that debate made me so worried about our people's mindset towards each other. Yeah, shout out to you, Tochuku. It's weird. Uh, no, no, not many of my Nigerian friends, their eyes glaze over yellow purple. Ah, uh, eh? Really? Are you Gen Z? I, I, tell me what age you are. Your, your generation. What generation are you? If you're a Gen Z, I agree. You don't like yellow purple men. Okay, I agree. If you're a Generation X, stop the cap. And to be, you, you, I know you're Generation X, but your contemporaries, I think they like, they liked yellow purple because this men that are bleaching, they still think that way. They think people like yellow purple, so they are bleaching self-hate at all levels it's the ones before millennials that were colorist and uh hey -huh, now we're talking i know what i'm talking about well i didn't say they're colorist i didn't give them a name but they bleach and they're weird <laughs> let them be visiting psychologists Wahala. Wahala. bleaching cream is disgusting that's the only thing they are still going to african stores to go and do no cap they like nigerian food too but wait wait what what's going on here thank god my sisters and brothers over there are very correct mm, yeah See, that's why we're talking it's men that like yellow women that is why the dark girls are all marry wealthy oyibos no that's cap too the same cap okay the same cap everybody needs to wear it Okay, stop, stop the cap. The cap. <laughs> okay. Generalizations at best. We love dark skin. I love dark skin women. Are you kidding me? My wife is light, is light skin, but I love dark skin women. Don't get it twisted. What is Gen Y? Gen Y is millennials, I think. I mean, between Gen Z and millennia. What is between? There's no between. Between. Between means you are you were born in 2000, the year 2000. Is that what you mean? something or oh, 98 something like that right um if i want to feel young i should gen z and if i want to form eggborn i choose millennia okay so 98 i think you're talking about 98 born in 97 98 uh a man that will go bleach as massive inferiority we don't want to change this topic to anyway let, let's continue the conversation hold on <laughs> so we also need to understand that sorry we also need to understand that in as much as our cultures and ideologies are good Voila. and the Depression. foreign cultures and ideologies are not understood and accepted by us, we must still learn that there's a lot about our culture and our traditions that are very invasive. People have no privacy. Let me let me find that comment. I missed it. Privacy. You make money, it is assumed that it is family money. Yeah. You understand? A friend of mine's father. It's an assumption by people with low self esteem. It's not. How could he spend money? It's not about money. They, some people just like their privacy. Was going abroad to get a degree when his younger brother. No, not many of my Nigerian friends. Their eyes glaze over. Okay, I think I read that. Yeah. If I don't give up, why you no give up? So there is no abroad. You can't try it. Your mother cannot come and meet your brother and say you are not helping your brother. <laughs> it is impossible. Abroad, your mother. They, I was watching your Judy. A girl. What's up, buddy? How far? Card 
to go and do liposuction. They asked her why she said her mother was living in her house rent free. The, the fact that somebody is living in your house does not mean you can go and use their credit card. That the freeze. Where's the rest of the content now? And I, one thing we I want. Uh, the question I was going to ask is. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. In relation to the topic about divorce and marriages, like I still don't, I still don't understand the correlation between the Nigerian community and people getting divorced. Because just like you said, there's no correlation. That that's why you don't understand. You're just being diplomatic. So you're like. Eh. They tell me more but they can't tell you nothing they will just make insult they will just insult one sentence and run away that's the, the generalization that's all they can do okay women do it men do it okay just one sentence and they will run away because they really don't want to share their experience at least some of these ones they don't know how they can be dragged online so they're still sharing at some point if they enter the wrong room they will be dragged with their balls because the experience is really worth speaking not, not 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 there's no correlation there's divorces everywhere in the world if anything you might want to correlate the westernized mindset with divorce because people think they can move mad like they did uh 30 years ago forgetting that people have options so yes there is divorce if you're not paying attention to that people have more options yes there will be divorce it's a reality okay the more educated they are the higher the chances they won't tolerate the bs okay that's just reality you can look at it and say oh okay there's something i'm confused there's something i need there's something new i need to learn right or you can say no they are too smart for me like this brother this yellow purple brother just said i don't like women that are too smart they just nigerian women are just too smart for me but he ended up marrying another one with that mindset, God help his new marriage. May God help his new marriage. You should know how to set boundaries. Are you getting my point? Because there's another Yoruba saying that to I don't see why we, we are making this a Nigerian community thing like it's causing the people to yeah, but like to Obalanu along the wall. If the wall doesn't crack open, a lizard will not enter. If you don't open the doors somehow somewhere yes potentially indirectly i know you didn't say i'm opening the door so these people are not supposed to come into my marriage well if there's a crack it's really it's not that the op the op is opening his mouth if, if there's a crack in your marriage things will enter things lizard ajo uh, snakes uh it will enter but guess what you're gonna blame for that if you have to blame anybody for that you, you have to blame self you have to blame self if you have to blame okay i don't think you need to blame because blame is just destructive even self-guilt is destructive right but there's something you need to learn and it starts with self you can't blame all of nigeria community in the diaspora for that that's your problem you can't tell people that move a certain way maybe their accent is not as as blush as yours you know, because your your wife befriended one of them. You know, say, it's because you have been hanging out with this type of chicks. That's the problem. You're right. That's the problem. Guess who? Guess whose problem is it? Yours. Your problem. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, let's see. You're, you're missing the... Sorry, sorry, bro. You're missing their point. Their point is that there are influences that exist within those communities that affect you in your relationship at home you know what so if you uh DJ, you are both saying the same thing there are influences what are you gonna do about it complainers are explainers they never get to the pro issue of the problem right it's it's external factors you can't this you don't have any control of that starting even even yourself there's certain external factors affecting you before you reach another human being, how much more your wife, that you can't control. The only thing you can do about that is learn how to navigate. That's all you can do about it. The rest of it, you're entertaining yourself. Misery Love Company is entertaining to other people in the world, but they're not going to learn any. You're not saving anybody, and it's worse. You're not even saving yourself.